YouTube and welcome to this GIMP Helper tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create animated flashing text in GIMP. Um, first of all, just a quick few things to mention. Um, this is the second time I've had to redo this tutorial. The first time was because the um, screen on YouTube was really small and something had gone wrong with it. And the second time was just because the audio was really poor. So this time I'm hoping it's better than the previous two. And also, um, what I've forgotten to mention in the last few videos is that the computer's in the living room, um, so most of the time my videos may have um, things in the background such as the telly and my family talking, but um, right now um, I'm in the living room by myself. Anyway, um, what you're going to need for this um, tutorial is a small pixel type font like this one which is a visitor and I'll leave a link in the description on where to get this. Um, I just think it's better and easier to use a pixel type font. Okay then, um, so open up GIMP, create an image, go to file and new. And um, a third thing I've got to point out is that um, I've downloaded um, a new version of GIMP well, GIMP 2.8, and it's um, my GIMP themes aren't quite working on it, so it's pretty hard to see what are on the buttons. But when I hover over them, you can see them clearly. Anyway, um, the dimensions I'm going to use are 100 by 10 pixels, and this is because it's going to be pretty small, since so it's only a small text image. Then I'm going to fill it with transparency, and this is, and you can do this if you want, but you don't have to. You can do this by going to advanced options and fill with transparency, like I just did, and click OK. Now get your text tool and type in your text. I'm going to type in GIMP helper, and then search for the visitor font if you've downloaded it. If you don't know how to download fonts, I've got a tutorial on how to do that. And choose the light one rather than the bold one because I think that's better. And then resize it to about, I don't know, 13. Well, it depends what you want, really. Um, and then choose the colour, um, the first colour you want to flash. And the first colour I want to flash is red. Um, then I'm going to resize the image. Uh, it's text box to size of the image, sorry. And then I'm going to justify it and click center. Okay then, so now um, get up your layers dialog, you can do this by going to Windows, Dockable Dialogs and Layers, or holding down Control and L. Then right click on your text layer and click Merge Down. And this will merge the text layer into the background layer. And this is a really important step, because we're going to do a border now. And if you don't do this border, it's literally a totally different um, tutorial, and you've got to do a whole lot of things differently. So if you're going to be following this tutorial, um, I'd suggest that you do a border. Otherwise, um, well, I guess you can send me a message and ask me, and I'll be happy to explain it for you. Anyway, go to layer, transparency, and after selection, and this will make an outline around our text. Then go to select, and grow, and grow by one pixel. Then create a new layer, make sure it's transparency, and drag it underneath the background layer. And then we're going to do a, um, a black border, so then fill in the outline with black. Then you go to select, and then, and this is what it looks like. Then we're going to zoom it in, so I go to view, zoom, and I'm going to zoom it in by 1600. Then move the dialogs out of the way so you can see better. Okay, then. you can resize them if you need to. Um, and then um, now we're going to use the bucket fill tool. And then make your foreground colour the second colour you want to um, flash. And we'll need to duplicate this background layer. And then we're just gonna fill in all the letters. Oh no, wait, I just missed a very important step. What we need to do is we need to merge, and we'll undo that layer as well. We need to merge the background um, layer with the new layer. Okay then, and then we're gonna duplicate it. Because you may have noticed that here, um, it filled it in as well, that's because we didn't merge the two layers together. And then fill in all the letters. And keep repeating this until you've got all the colours you would like. Making sure that you duplicate the layer. 
each time. And the second um, colour I want to flash is going to be green. Okay, so after that you should have a lies dial. It looks something like this, with a lot of lies, depending on how many colours you want. Then we're going to look at um, what we've done, so we're going to go to filters, animation and playback. And a little dialog will come up that looks like this, and click play, and this is what mine looks like. So we're going to exit that, then we're going to go to file save as, and this is going to be really important because you have to save it in a certain way. And I'm going to um, save it as gh and dot gif, and click save. And then click save as animation, export, and it might come up with this and you click, you have to click crop and it might cut off some of the colours or lies I don't know, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't so click crop and then click save and then it's saved so thank you for watching this tutorial